Well, hello, this is Rochelle and welcome to my channel. First, allow me to show you some of the new printables from his palette. And these are the printables with all the fine details that I'm going to be cutting with my brother scan and cut today for you. So yes, there is voiceover because yes, I'm not at my usual spot and there's lots of noise. So I do stick the 160 GSM paper onto my, um, this is the standard mat. I press on scan, click on direct cut and scan it into the device itself, pressing start. With scanning, what I found is necessary is that you make sure that you've got good lighting. So in my usual spot, I have an LED light that goes at the back of my table um, that then shines pretty much through this centerpiece where the scanner is. Um, and it just makes picking up those images a bit easier and sharper. Second tip I can give you is to adjust your sp the area that you want uh, to work with it kind of exactly so that your machine doesn't pick up all of the other um, fine details on your mat, you know, previous cuts, previous scratches, etc. like that, um, so that then you can uh, make sure that you've got a clear area that, you, that you're scanning and recognizing into the machine. I'm not trained by brother, um, so I don't have any experience as such. I'm, I'm sharing with you guys what has worked for me. So once that scanning part has then finished, uh, what I do is I click on OK if I'm happy with it. Um, you can adjust the color just to pick it up better and try scan it again. And then what I do is I put in a one millimeter um, margin. Again, I find that that just works better to make sure that the fine details are picked up. What I do then is I go into my edit object. Um, I check out all the smaller pieces. Now, if there's quite a few, I select all and delete them one by one. Or um, I just use the arrow to move from one small item to the next one. And by small, I mean the little maybe leaves that are very much offside um, or a clear separation between the image and those leaves so that then um, I don't cut those. And then I pretty much go to cut uh, and select cut. And once it's recognized my changes, I press start. And that is really that. I'm going to show this a few times just because um, I feel that it's really helpful <laughs> to see the difference and I'm going to show you this cut off once it's done. I am fast forwarding the cut so it does take about two minutes or a minute and a half to cut this for instance um, but I've sped that up quite a bit so that I don't have to bore you <laughs> sitting and listening to um, my voice. So I've changed the angle there, lift up the paper using a spatula. This is my standard mat and it is still fairly new, so it does still have a lot of stick on it. Um, so I use a, a proper spatula just to lift off these paper pieces so they don't tear. And by smaller pieces, this is what I mean. These little leaves that are either very light in color or has a separation between the main image and the little image. If I try and cut those with it, it's going to cut over each other and it's just not necessary. As I'll show you with this cutout once it's done, it's complete. I mean, you looking at it wouldn't know that those few leaves are missing. I like the little white border. It just makes it a neater cut. And then if it does miscut a little bit, it's not um, cutting into your image. So that's my first kind of tip when cutting fine details is do a one millimeter border. Okay, so let's adjust this view. Uh, first get our next printable. I'm gonna use another printable by his palette and put that on here. I do rub it down quite a bit. Um, and so again, just scan, direct cut to the machine, start. Um, with your stand, it is a bit more tacky than the low tack mat. Um, but I find that it works just great um, with this 160 GSM paper and with the little bit of elbow grease and a wet wipe. <laughs> the stickiness comes back perfectly. 
So again, this specific printable has got a lot of words and then the one image. So I'm, I'm helping its brain to focus by making the, the area smaller that I want it to scan. So instead of it recognizing or processing the words that are outside of this area, I'm focusing on the area where the actual image is that I want to scan. You can scan and cut words as well. It's just not a precise science. Again, I do apologize for the lighting. I am working not in my normal space. I'm sort of in quarantine. <laughs> and so this is natural lighting through the window kind of thing. <laughs> it is what it is. So then, like I said, select the margin little icon make it to one mil millimeter margin uh, select edit object I select all of the objects because here's a lot I deselect the big image and then click OK and then I delete all of those little images or all of the little highlighted images now so I've only got the one solid piece now that will be cut so I go OK I select cut it processes that <laughs> and once it's done processing I will click start and it will then go through that cutting process again so I think like I said the the first one is good lighting the second one is putting a margin and the third one is then helping the the little brain behind <laughs> this machine to focus on one specific um, area so make sure that your area is is exactly what you wanted to scan and cut. So there we go, lifting it off. Um, that's it. <laughs> and there's our image, especially with these fine details. I find that this steel spatula is definitely the better um, option. It just kind of gets into that space, tiny space between the printable or your paper and the sticky mat um, to get that off nicely without tearing anything off. Uh, with regards to cleaning my mat, like I said, I use a wet wipe and some elbow grease uh, to get off all of those little paper fluff, etc. that does get stuck on the mats um, at times. Uh, and then I know that there's also a zig glue, re-glue kind of method uh, on the internet, on YouTube, that you can search if your mat has completely lost its stickiness. But with mine, if it does or when it does, I just use some washi to secure my image or my paper and uh, that works just fine too. I do kind of rub while it scans just to make sure that it is secure and not moving. So like I said, I click on scan then direct cut then to the machine and then press start and it goes through with this specific one being a black and white printable you would probably get a sharper image if you scanned it using black and white so i'll come back to that in a minute um, because this one does not pick up what i wanted to pick up with that very small uh, girl so i'll show you that in a minute um, so like I said, adjusting as much as you can to only have the area that you want to cut um, in that processing area. Like I said, using completely layman's terms, not uh, an expert whatsoever, but sharing my experience with you. Um, so it is processing <laughs> and while it's processing, I am waiting, <laughs> but it's still better than trying to fussy cut so let's just go there um, I'm happy with the scanning so I'll click on OK and then select that one inch margin or one millimeter margin sorry mine is in millimeters and then uh, selecting all and then kind of deselecting the big images that I that I do want to cut um, and then deleting the ones that are highlighted, which is the small little words. Press OK. Um, I press cut. And there it goes. Press start. <laughs> so I have deselected the smaller one because it um, there was a line that wasn't quite recognized. So it did cut all the cut lines were into the image, which is not what I want. 
So I'm going to rescan this and I'll show you in a second what I mean by that. But first, let me lift off this um, piece here to show you that it cuts beautifully. <laughs> lift it off my paper using my spatula, take off these girls and you'll see just so much better than trying to fussy cut. And I do have that little border and it's just perfection. So now I've got my little girl left. By now the sun has uh, dropped a little bit and my lighting is not as clear as I want it to be. So I do try and change the image direction and see if that'll work. Oops, wrong button. <laughs> and then um, change it to black and white by pressing on that little tool and changing the color scan to a black and white scan to try and see if that'll then pick up the, the imaging a bit better. So sometimes I think the most play is in your scanning time as opposed to your actual cutting time. Um, scanning is where you can then manipulate quite a bit by turning the image or uh, framing it or, you know, just working on it so that it, and here you see it's, it's picked up so many lines because my mat has got a lot of coffee bean cuts in. So it picks up those black and white or shadowed images. So I'm helping its brain focus on just the one image and then uh, so, so so making your area smaller definitely is um, important and I do this with uh, quite a bit of the detail like if there's a lot of images on one page I do this as well um, I have you know scanned multiple times and cut at separate times so that it can focus on one area at a time so select all deselect my image and delete what's left over those little words and okay and okay <laughs> then please select i select cut it processes it cuts this one took like 30 seconds <laughs> so fast forwarding that for us so we don't have to go through all of that again and then as you'll see when i lift this girl off here uh, she is cut without any weirdness there <laughs> all the lines picked up in a nice margin and there are all my printables i have cut them all so they're all done uh, thank you for watching hope to see you again soon hope you learned something <laughs> if you did let me know in the comments